Hey, what's up everybody? Check it out. You guys all, there's a new launch coming up from Intel called the X79 and today we're going to take a look at one of their entry level motherboards from Gigabyte. This is the X79 UD3. So let's go in, let's do the unboxing and check out what this thing's basically about and what comes in the box. Let's jump right in. So here we see the outside of the box, the Gigabyte X79 UD3. UD stands for ultra durable. Now, one of the big things they're pushing on the new LGA 2011 with Gigabyte is their 3D series of stuff. This is 3D power, which features their three-way digital engine, digital CPU power, digital memory power by two, which basically is all the power phase stuff, keeps the motherboard running smooth and keeps it running for a long time. Now, this is their 3D BIOS. It runs from the dual UAFI. Now, what this is, is a real-time BIOS that you'll be able to see and click at and actually make live changes that'll actually look like a motherboard you'll see it in the full review but it's really cool so here's this the outside of the box show you guys that real quick trying to get too glarish in there flip it around just show you guys the back it sports four-way crossfire four-way sli it's got blu-ray sound it's got a dual bios also the on and off charge for your usb so if you have phones and stuff like that you plug it in it'll even charge it when the motherboard shut off you've got your three-way acceleration usb USB power, SATA power, all 3.0. One of the big things about the Ultra Dual Barrel Well is their two-time copper PCB. This just means the motherboard's made really well and really heavy. A lot of other people use different things to say it, but that's how they have it. So anyways, I'll show you that. Now we'll just jump in and see what comes inside the box, which is why we're here today. Go ahead and pop the top. Now there are a lot of accessories to this thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the accessories all out first, and then I'll lay them out here on the table so you guys can see them, and then we'll move on and take a look at the motherboard. Alrighty, so let's start out here. We have the GA X79 UD3, the manual, the drivers, all that stuff. I'll set that out there. Here's the Gigabyte 4-way SLI. You can see it's a nice bracket that comes in the thing. Pretty cool. For those people who want to go extreme, this is extreme. Also got the rear I.O. You guys can see in the rear I.O. Everything is marked out. It shows you where SPDIF is, shows you where USB 3, show you everything where everything goes very clearly. Set that over there. Then we have the standard SLI bridge right here for just two-way SLI. Then we have another one right here, a three-way SLI. Um, I think that these guys are trying to tell you something here. I think they want you to really use SLI because look here, three-way SLI. So we have three-way SLI, four-way SLI, and standard SLI, lots of SLI. Then we've got a standard crossfire cable. That's right. You folks for AMD haven't been forgotten. Crossfire cable here. Then we've got two of the SATA cables. These are the new type. They'll be fine for all your new devices. Then we have the multilingual installation guidebook. Multilingual means lots of different languages. So we'll pop that out there. And then last but not least, we have a solution for platform Intel AMD. Manual Ultisour. So I think this must be something in French. But uh, you guys aren't going to need that, so we'll move on. So that's just everything. If you were looking at our website, this would basically be what you would see on the content page. We'll move forward and take a look at the motherboard itself. Let me just clear this stuff out of here for you folks, and then we'll move on. Now, one thing you guys are going to notice right off the bat, the LGA package is huge. What I pretty much feel that LGA 2011 is, it's basically a Xeon package for the desktop. Because this is the exact same thing basically as a Xeon, just the desktop. You can see that this company has decided to lay way using eight channels of memory and is stuck with four. I prefer this actually because you don't really need to have that much memory for anybody who's an enthusiast or gamer. So I think that's pretty cool. So they say that it uses quad memory, but this is actually just dual channel memory. And I really do like the design of this board. Plenty of room around here. All the MOSFETs are all cooled. You can see that everything's really cooled. Then down here, you can see all your PCI slots. As we said before, it sports four-way SLI or Crossfire, really decked out board. Here's the 24 pin power here. Here's your eight pin power connector. You guys can see that up there. It's kind of a little odd angle there. Down here, you can see how all your compatible controllers are right here. It's all color coordinated and all very well clearly on the board. So if you're plugging all your stuff in from your case into the motherboard, it'll be very easy to do. You got your front panel connectors down here. Here are all your SATA ports over here. Remember, this is just the unboxing folks. So if you ask me this, that, and the other, wait for the full review. So. Here's the rear I.O. Fully decked out. A lot of stuff all the way around. Lots of USB. Lots of USB 3. Lots of powered SATA. Great audio. All the way around. Really good motherboard. 
So this is the unboxing. Today's launch day. And this is the X79 UD3. This is pretty much an entry-level motherboard for the new X79 platform. Thanks for watching.